Let's solve this together. It says n factorial is equal to n cubed minus n. How do we solve this? Now, before we start, let me explain what a factorial is. If you have 2 factorial, it is equal to 2 times 1. If you have 3 factorial, it is equal to 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? 4 factorial will be equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. The same thing 5 factorial, the same thing 6 factorial. Hence, n factorial can be said to be equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2. Okay? Into n minus 3 dot 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 into n minus n. Alright? Which is the last term. Okay? Factorial. Hence, you can also say from here that n factorial will be equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial. Let's replace this with n here. So, we are going to have that n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial is equal to, factoring this, we have n into n squared minus 1. Alright? Now, we have n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial is equal to n into, using difference of 2 squares, you have n minus 1 into n plus 1. This, this, we take this and this. So, we are left with n minus 2 factorial to be equal to n plus 1. Okay? Now, y minus 1, sorry, 1 plus 1 can be expressed to be equal to minus 2 plus 3. Okay, so we can now say that n minus 2 factorial will be equal to n, this one is minus 2 plus 3. Let's group this and cross it over to the other side, it becomes minus. So we have n minus 2 factorial minus n minus 2, like this, is equal to 3. Okay, now recall what we said. Now, n minus 2 factorial can be expressed to be equal to n minus 2 multiplied by n minus 3 factorial minus n minus 2 is equal to 3. We can now factorize here. So, we are going to have n minus 2 into n minus 3 factorial minus 1. Is equal to 3. At this point, you can ask yourself the 3 can be expressed as 1 times 3. Also, 3 can be expressed as 3 times 1. Okay, these are the multiples for 3. So now let's say that this is equal to 1 and this is equal to 3, or this is equal to 3 and this is equal to 1. Okay, so we're going to equate this for 1 and this for 3. And this for 1 and this for 3 as well. Okay. So we're going to have that is either that n minus 2 is equal to 1 and n minus 3 factorial minus 1 is equal to 3 or n minus 2 is equal to 3 and n minus 3 factorial minus 1 is equal to 1. Okay. Now moving on. We are going to have from here that if n minus 2 is equal to 1, it invariably means so from this first condition, we are going to have that n is equal to 3. Okay. Hence, you're going to have from here, testing it, you're going to have 3 minus 3 factorial minus 1. Is this equal to 3? It's equation. 3 minus 3 factorial is 0 factorial minus 1. Is this equal to 3? 0 factorial is 1 minus 1 and is not equal to 3. Hence, this solution is null and void. For the second solution, we are going to say n minus 2 is equal to 3, implying that n is equal to 5. And testing this, we have 5 minus 3 factorial minus 1. Is this equal to 1? 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. 2 factorial minus 1. Is this equal to 1? 2 factorial is 1. Is 2 rather. And 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Hence, the only answer for this question is that n is equal to 5.
This is the solution to this question. Thanks for watching. I would like to see your comments in the comment section below. Peace.